With a new setting comes new playable races, which I'm very excited for. I sat down with Mike Merles to talk about some of the unique races that you can play in the world of Eberron. Um, we've got the Warforged, we've got the Shifter, we have the Changeling, and we have the Kalashtar. The, um, and so these are four um, Eberron-specific races. Uh, that one of the things I love about them is they are really embedded in the setting. And what I think Keith has done a very good job with for all four is really thinking of them as, think, think of them as roles you can play. Thinking of what does it mean to play, to be one of these characters? How does it affect your, your view of the world? How does it affect how you portray that character? And so the, uh, we've got the Warforged, who are um, arcane creations that were soldiers made for the, the last war. Uh, you can kind of think of it, it's like, it's like World War I has just ended in this fantasy setting. And the Warforged were living weapons built for it. Well, now what do they do with themselves? Changelings are essentially player character doppelgangers. Though they're not as, they're not quite, not quite, they just flat out aren't the uh, sort of uh, parasites that doppelgangers can be. They're not innately evil. They're much like any other character. You know, you can play the alignment you want. Um, and he talks a lot about how, uh, how they, as being a creature that can change into any identity, what does that mean? You know, one of the things I like, you give the example of, you might go to a changeling settlement. It might be every time you see the healer, it's the same person. They look like the same person, they have the same name and same, same identity, but it actually, each time you go to them, it's a different changeling who's taking on that, that identity. And they sort of see it as, oh, that's my, do my job for today is to be the healer. I'm a skilled healer, so I, I'm qualified to do this, but it's actually one identity we've created that we share. Um, so the healer is always, you know, Mr. Smith, but it's a different changeling each time you see them, you know, things like that. Because they have this weird, they have a very different relationship with identity than creatures who can't change their appearance. You know, so I thought that was kind of a cool little flourish. Shifters are creatures that are sort of somewhere between human and beast. Um, they are able to, at shift, which is similar to a barbarian rage style mechanic, where essentially they can allow their sort of animalistic um, abilities to manifest more strongly. Um, so it might let them um, they track well, like, like sort of increase their ability to, like their scent. Um, it might make them hardier, more durable. It might make them more agile and faster, depending on the type of animal that they're sort of connected to, that their, their ancestry sort of derives from. Story-wise, they have a very, very distant relationship with uh, lycanthropes, like werewolves and such. So, and then the clash tar are these, uh, Creatures, they're humans that have merged with these beings of pure sort of spirit, psionic energy from the plane of dreams that were, have, have fled from their enemies and merged with humans to make the Kalashtar. They're essentially these um, uh, psionically awakened humans who have this very, very different take on the world because of the sort of spirit, the, the spirit guy that's merged with them. And so the... Um, they tend to see things through the lens of their spirit guide. It gives them some different insight that you might not expect. Plus, they're very good in diplomatic situations because they have some latent psionic abilities. So it lets them, they're very skilled at using those to just essentially passively boost their ability to handle others. Thank you, Mike Merles, for talking about the playable races that you can find in the Wayfinder's Guide to Eberron. You can purchase that book right now on dndbeyond.com by clicking on the link in this video description. I'm Todd Kenrick. Thank you for watching.